Hey guys, it's Misha, and I have a video that I want to share some projects that I've been working on that I um, am in swaps. And um, this one is with artandsassy.ning. Dot com. If anyone is interested, you can go over there and um, ask Kara, who is AK Caribou here on YouTube, um, to uh, add you to the group. So, anyway, most of the paper in here came from a paper pack that you only get like, you know, six or 12 sheets of paper in, and I got that. If I'm not mistaken, I got that at um, Target last year, and I hadn't had a chance to use it. Some of the other papers and things in here came from a paper pack that I think is from the GCD um, Studios, but I'm not sure if that's correct. Um... So, yeah, that's pretty basic where I got most of my things. So, okay, this is a um, one-sheet wonder, or a one-and-done one sheet, or whatever they're calling them here on um, YouTube. If you are interested in how it was made, there are several tutorials out there, but if you want to see how I made mine, um, just send me, leave a comment below, and I will show you how I did these. But um, it was any theme that you wanted to do, and I decided to do um, Halloween. Hopefully my partners like Halloween. I don't know if they celebrate but this is what I came up with and I added a binding here you don't have to but I did um, because I just wanted to have have it look like a little book so I did put a binding on it um, this was cut out from the paper pack this was from Kane company from last year so okay we'll go inside in this cute this was the cutout all the mats are the same for the most part they're all the same if there's any different i'll let you know but they're two and a half by three and a half um this one i just used the uh, little embellishment as a pull tab on that one this um, sticker, I'm pretty sure I bought this set of stickers from um, the Dollar Tree. Okay, so then here is a glittery leaf. Isn't, it, isn't that pretty, that leaf? And then these are the same. This has that back, that has this back. If you understood that, I hope. And this pumpkin is put up on um, dimensional foam and I did I put it up three times so it's three thicknesses and then this is a cutout from the paper pack this is a Kang company and then this page is interactive so you can, you know, and on the back it has that. You can move it. You can write on it. You know, whatever you want it to do. Um, then there's this one with this little felt leaf. I thought that was cute and it had a little bling on it already. And then there's this. I'm not sure what this leaf is. I just thought it was so pretty and it brought out some of the color here. And then there's two um, little leaves from the sticker pack. And then this is the back, and I put two leaves on it. And I'm holding it closed here with, if I didn't mention it, all I do is twist that, and then I put this clip on. Wish I had another one for the other book I made, but I don't seem to. I'll have to look and see if I can find one. 
Um, so then I just clip it like that and it keeps the book closed. So that's one and it's all from one sheet of 12 by 12. Now here's the other. I put um, these, these flowers actually came from Michael's the, at the $1.50 spot and I only paid 25 cents for the pack um, a couple months ago. And it was because this line is going out and the new line's coming in. Sunset Bliss um, is going out and then they bring in a new line of those flowers. So if you want, go to Michael's and you'll be able to get these probably now for a penny. I don't know, but I got mine for a quarter, so I wasn't complaining. This is from that sticker pack that I had gotten at the dollar store. And then this is the cutout. And it says ghouls just want to have fun. And then you open it. And now most of these are the same as the other book. There's a couple in here that are from a different um, paper line. So I'll tell you when we find that. Um, this says trick or treat from the paper pack. And then another leaf. And this is this has this back on it, and this has this back on it. <laughs> Did she understand that? Yeah, me neither. <laughs> so then, um, this leaf, isn't that uh, it came that way? I didn't do it. Isn't that pretty though? Made the veins with the glitter, and it's really pretty. And then here's this little jack o' lantern from the um. DCWV cutouts and then here's a little pool thing it says trick or treat um, and then turn the page now this is where the paper line gets different this is from the G C D line I think I uh, I'm not sure if that's right, but this is an old paper line, and it's from, um, you can get it at, at uh, Big Lots, if you have a Big Lots by you. So, this is like that, and then on the other side, it is this. Okay, so that is, they're the reverse. Um, and then I put that little embellishment there, and here's another little glittered leaf. And then we turn the page. Here's an interactive boo to you. Wish I had more of these. I don't. It would be nice to because I have some other Halloween things I want to do for my son's school and for the kids in cl his class. I think that would be using something like that would be cute to do to from. And I can't find them anywhere anywhere now either. So. But that moves, and I've decided that, you know, we'll make it a big one, and it can go up like that until whoever gets it uses uses the little book, if they use it. I hope they like it, because I thought it came out really cute. Um, and this says, scaring up some fun with just those eyes. Look at those. I should add some glitter. What do you think? Should I put some glitter in there? Leave a comment below. Let me know if you think I ought to put glitter in those eyes. Okay, and then here's the back. And it says Monster Mesh. We did the mesh. And I was tying it and keeping it closed with this little um button candy corn who likes candy corn raise your hand not I uh-uh nope no so but anyhow this is one of the things I've been working on um, I have a couple other swaps that I'm doing and I've been making things for my craft shows when I have the time and I'm not um, at the hospital with my husband and my son um, my father-in-law is in 
going in the hospice and um, yeah he's not doing good and my son is seven and he wants to see his grandfather as much as he can before the day comes that he can't see him which will be any time now so um, I've been trying to be supportive of both of them and go um, however I didn't get along with my father-in-law that well at the end he was good to me um, since Jacob was born he treated me good so I don't have any ill will toward the man um, I just feel really bad for my husband and my son um, so you know if I can get anything else in before the time comes where I he passes I'll post more videos otherwise you know this will be it for a little while but I'm gonna try and get a couple more videos on so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video thanks